high one hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel depending on your time zone now yesterday uh Raila Odinga together with the all as you know the leaders were hosted at Yata Farm by the Waiba Party leader Stephen Kalonzo Musioka and uh, there are uh, several things Raila Odinga mentioned out and of course not alone because I saw Mangu Iria talking about the same thing I saw people like Eugenio Manwa, Manda Karua, Kalonzo Musioka. It is all entire as well of Moja. They are very clear. Number one, they are asking Ruto to denounce Rikata Gashagwa's statement of referring to Kenya as a company which has shareholders. And those shareholders are people who voted for one William Samoy Ruto. So in the region where Ruto got more votes, those are people who have shares. When you not get votes, they don't have shares. So they are asking Ruto to come out and denounce the Gaza Gashagwa statement. If not, they will call for secession. Number two, they are asking Ruto to bring down the cost of living. If not, they will call for secession. Number three, they are asking William Samuel Ruto to stop interfering with the uh, Azimela Umoja affiliate party like Jubilee party. If not, they are calling for the session. And number four, they are asking William Samuel to open servers. If not, seceding. And lastly, they are calling on William Samuel Ruto on imbalance in public appointment. So the way to denounce themselves from the Gaza statement is by balancing the appointment across the country because that's how Ruto anticipated to collect the taxes, not only in Mount Kenya and Rift Valley. He will be in Western here, he will be in Nyanza, he will be in Low Eastern, he will be in the Coast Region, he will be in Turkana, he will be across the country collecting taxes. And that should also be seen in the manner in which he's doing his appointment so that uh, the people from the region where he's collecting taxes will be sitting on the table where a decision is being made on the taxes collected from their own region. This ultimatum is for seven days. If not, then Raila will be leading mass action and that mass action will not be about maybe ejecting someone from office. It will be about seceding. That means now what to attack ku kwa na self determination and then form their own government because they feel that this government is not working for them so they better separate listen to elamola denga shortly then from there we're going to continue this conversation kwa hivyo tumemwambia bwana rutu ya kwamba kabla utijafika wako ile mambo yako ya budget mambo yale yote yarekebishwe sivyo isipofanyeke namna hiyo unajua unajua si unajua si unajua unaunga mkono unaunga mkono azimio la yata the yata declaration the people of azimio assembled here in yata declare one that the cost of living must be brought uh, come come down yeah. two yeah. two yeah. that the servers yeah. the presidential elections yeah. 2022 yeah. must be opened for auditing yeah. what's up so, so, three, that the officials of Jubilee, whose names have been presented to the Register General, the Register General be registered forthwith and cease from interfering with the affairs of Jubilee Party and all other political parties affiliated to Azimio. So, Huh? Tatu. 
begin the correction of imbalance in appointment in all public positions in the country. Or we will call for self-determination. As many as those of the same opinion say, I, I. As many as of contrary opinion say, nay, the highs have it. Nikiwa hapa yata mimi naongea bila wasiwasi wote. Now we are continuing with the page and the just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel of and Master. Thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, in the beginning, the mass action was all about going to remove William Sabrutu from State House. And the reason was that, number one, he did not win election. Otherwise, if he won election, let him open the server. Reason number two was all about the cost of living. And number three, it was all about IBC. But now, I see Azimela Umoja trying to change tactic on how they're going to approach William Samuel Ruto to deal with him. The move now is all about secession. Self-determination means that they have tried every means to deal with William Ruto, but it's like Ruto is not listening to anyone. He has refused to listen because if you talk about the cost of living, wakati wanasema Ruto tunguza ushuru, sasa ni Ruto ameongeza kapisa. Amekanyaga mafuta kapisa. He's overspeeding. That means Ruto will not listen to the issue of cost of living. So the only way to sort out this issue is to have your own country where Ruto is not your president, you have a president who will listen to what you want. That's why Azimio is now saying that because if people are not listening, I think we will have our own country. So it's about, about Ruto to see what Azimio is talking about. Can he sort out that problem? Number two, the way he's saying that Ruto wants to kill the multi party democracy in this country. Indeed, it is evidently clear. And if someone is in power, then his first job is to kill other political parties. What is this intention? When you are in a, in, a, in a country where the constitution does not allow anyone to run more than two times, that means you cannot be a president more than 10 years. If you are unlucky, you run for 10, you go home. But anyone who wants to destroy multiple democracy, it means this is a person who has a plan to overstay you in power. That means possibility of changing the constitution of Kenya so that Ruto can become a life president is life and it is kicking on. It is matter that should be taken serious. And if that is the plan, then it is better because it is clear that winning election through the ballot has, it has become a pipe dream. So what we do, we better secede and have our own country where we can have our choice of leaders but not a leader who has been imposed to us by several uh, uh, specific uh, powers from elsewhere. They are talking about appointment in the government. If you are forming the government of Kenya, Republic of Kenya, then you make your appointment to be 50% Rift Valley, 30% Mount Kenya, the remaining 20%, the remaining tribes in Kenya. We have tribes in Kenya, we appreciate, we are from the same region. Our constitution is very clear. You should not appoint people into power from only one region. You have to balance even, they go to an extent of saying counties. So you can use even counties when you, it is in our constitution, when you are going for this appointment. Did the root of follow the constitution? The other is no. Today, even is replacing the people from Mount Kenya who have been in power with the college in Akifuta, Mkikuyu, and Eka Mkale. Akifuta Mkikuyu, and Eka Mkale. So, in a manager, at a while when you have a pair of cars, I'm a kinya kona mpango kwa tafte makosa wa fute na eke watuaki. So, that means if you make appointment, 
focusing on specific region. You don't balance. And then you same person, you want to come and tax me so that you can pay these people. And they sit down and decide if I will get project or not. Then that means I am not represented in this government because my own people from my own region are not part of this government to sit there on where the decision is being made. So why should you sit down and make a decision on my taxes when there is no representation from my own region? That's unfair. It means there will be no fairness. So because of this, Raila is saying, okay, if this is the way, we will call for mass action and it is going to end into cessation. People will call for self-determination from their own country because we feel that we are not part of this government. And this one is a UN chapter. Watengeneza bendera yao, watengeneza kama nembo yao, wakwena their instrument of power, then run their own government. So it is upon order to see sense in what they are saying. And the issue of society did not start today. Remember during NASA. In Ibakia tuki tuki dogo hivi. Kama na ili hanga yaka break tu. Hange endelea. Ata hange sawa mambo ya kuapisho tu. Ayadelea tu vizuri na mambo ya kusema secession. Until you see indeed people are not paying taxes. You are really succeeding. People are not respecting this government. Ingefanyika. Ingefanyika. So Saeed, come on, remember the succession. I got a member of the Kuna Apisha, SG, the person who wanted. No, make sure that it is successful. It is succeeding in terms of you, Mkatai Kuneni, disobedience to the government. Don't pay tax. Then, from your own government, reject paying taxes where you are not part of the government because you are not represented in that government and this is the biggest question here that Ruto should check deeper into that so that means the possibility of going back to mass action is there but then the tactic is going to change it will not be all about talk as it will be all about seceding and then resisting and a disobedience that will make this government ungovernable the country will be ungovernable for William Samway Ruto. Thank you and see you in our next video.